victory in World War II, the Allies turned to fixing the guilt of those responsible. In 1945, Marshal Henri Pétain went on trial in France, accused of selling out his country to the Nazis and collaborating with them after France surrendered. High government officials testified at his treason trial, and the courtroom was thrown into an uproar by the accusations of former Premier Paul Renault. The Marshal was found guilty, condemned to death, but then sent into exile where he died. Quisling became synonymous with traitor in World War II, and the Norwegian who gave his infamous name to the language was tried for betraying his country. Vidkun Quisling was sentenced to death by his countrymen and went to the gallows. Halfway around the world, in Tokyo, another group was tried. Japan's Pearl Harbor premier, Hideki Tojo, led a list of 25 defendants accused of war crimes and atrocities. After a two-year trial, he was hanged for his acts. In Germany, Heinrich Himmler avoids trial by suicide. The evil genius of Nazi horror camps, he headed Hitler's secret police and was the most hated man in Europe. The most famous trials were those held in Nuremberg, when 21 high Nazis faced their accusers. Hitler was dead, but these were his chief lieutenants, Hess and Ribbentrop among them. It was an international tribunal that sat in judgment and heard the massive evidence that was collected. The prisoners remained defiant throughout the trial, seemingly confident that they would be free. They all were quick to plead, not guilty. The Nuremberg trials went on for 15 months. And bit by bit, these exponents of mass murder moved closer and closer to the hangman's noose. 21 were found guilty and 10 were executed. But the misery and horror they spawned lived after them.